Hello and welcome once again to What Culture Gaming. I'm Joe Hendry and today we're going to talk about a different time in video games because nowadays if you get stuck or you need to know something, we've got the answer instantly at our fingertips through Google. We've got online communities that are ready to tell us what we need to do next, but back in the day it wasn't so obvious. We didn't have that luxury, but the one weapon that we did have was the cheat code. The cheat code allowed us to get through those difficult, frustrating situations and it was spread through word of mouth, not the internet. And today we're going to pay homage to that time because today we're going to talk about the 10 most satisfying video game cheats of all time. Now before we get stuck into the list, I'm going to quickly go over the rules. We're only allowing one tip or cheat per game per franchise, unless the exact same code is applicable across multiple titles, and you may encounter that later. So let's start with our number 10, Mortal Kombat The Blood Code. You may remember that the arcade versions of Mortal Kombat had horrific violence with blood and guts everywhere, and it was amazing. So you'll understand why Genesis players were extremely disappointed when the game eventually came to the home console, that the blood and the gore wasn't there. Well, due to mounting pressure from society and politicians, Sega decided to pull the blood and guts from the home release, but they didn't do it entirely. They left a little code that if you put A-B-A-C-A-B-B in, then you were going to unlock that blood and those guts. So that was their cheeky way of allowing the violence if you were lucky enough to hear what the code was. In at number 9, The Wild Thing 2000 from Road Rash 2. If you're a big Gen or Mega Drive fan like me, you'll remember how satisfying it was to get your hands on the unbelievably powerful Wild Thing 2000. If you typed in up, A, C and right at the start, you would hear this which would be confirmation that you'd unlock the bike and you're ready to go. Now, this comes with a disclaimer because this is a double-edged sword and that this bike is so powerful that yes, you can get through the course in seemingly an instant, but it's so powerful and so fast that it's almost impossible to finish even the most basic of races. And if you crash into something, which you undoubtedly will, you will go flying for miles and it will take so long to retrieve your bike that the, likely the race will already have finished before you get back to it. So as satisfying as it was, was to travel at these breakneck speeds, it's only going to sit at number 9 because almost everyone and anyone who got their hands on the Wild Thing 2000 couldn't finish a single race because of its immense power. Number 8, Big Head Mode from the NBA Jam series. Now, there's a lot of entertaining big head modes in games and they're all pretty satisfying, such as the Golden Eye one's pretty funny and Tekken's pretty funny because not only can you have big head mode, you can have even bigger head mode, which is, again, very satisfying. But the one that we've decided to give the nod to is the NBA Jam series because they have had big head mode hidden in their games and, well, not so hidden because everyone knows the cheat, but it's ran from 1993 to 2010. Now, that truly is commitment to the Cause, and it's a satisfying and equally hilarious cheat when playing with your friends. Number 7, from Metal Gear Solid 3, it's the end. Now this one isn't so much of a cheat or a code, but this is just something that you can do. If you were in the know, there was a little trick that you could play on your machine that would kill one of the most difficult bosses in the game via old age. That's right, this boss is so old, but yet he's so cunning and so difficult to defeat and you have to be so patient unless you go and change the clock on your machine and advance it forward, and if you do so, the end will die of old age and it'll even be referenced within the game, allowing you to pass through this difficult moment in the game with absolute ease and no effort at all. Number 6, Saber Realistic Combat from Star Wars Jedi Knight 2, Jedi Outcast and Jedi Academy. Basically this quote unquote cheat makes the game 10 times better at the very least, which is why it's so disappointing that it wasn't in the game, but if you pull down the game code and input G underscore Saber Realistic Combat, it will now mean that the lightsaber are, well, realistic. You can even just run into enemies and if they so much as touch the saber, their heads are going to fall off or they're going to be sliced in half. It's extremely satisfying indeed. And so you're not just battling back and forth, you're literally cutting your opponents into pieces with ease, which gives you that realistic and equally violent Star Wars experience. Number 5 from Grand Theft Auto, it's BS Tard. Now there's a lot of satisfying cheats in the Grand Theft Auto series and we had some debate as which ones to include, such as flying cars and unlocking the tank is pretty great and well having a flying tank is pretty great as well but the one cheat that we all remember from our childhoods is from the very first Grand Theft Auto for the PlayStation when you put in BS Tard. It unlocks all cities, gives you infinite weapons and 99 life so that was the one the original that we felt we had to include as a satisfying cheat. 
Number four, the level select cheat from Sonic the Hedgehog. This one is the classic. This is the quintessential cheat that everyone remembers. Up, down, left, right, A, and start. And if you do that, it unlocks all the levels in the game because as a child, people forget that it's like the second level in the Sonic series is the one that's almost the gatekeeper to the rest of the game. Why is Marble Zone so difficult? Why is Chemical Plant Zone so difficult? How can you expect children to advance beyond these levels? So me, as a child in the 90s and as someone who really struggled to get past those second levels, this was a godsend and it allowed me to feel like a big boy by going on to defeat Robotnik even though I hadn't earned the right to be there. This cheat made me feel like a man. Number three, God Mode from Doom. Now, Doom was such a difficult game, especially if you were a kid in the 90s, because you had this little avatar that for every bit of health that you lost, you just became a bloody mess. And here was the cheat to stop that and allow you to breeze through the game with ease and terrorize those enemies which had made playing the game so, so difficult and put a smile on my face. And that's why it's so satisfying, because when you put this cheat in, it keeps your health at 100%, so your little avatar doesn't have to be beaten and bloody and bruised. He can just have that regular face as you go through the game and destroy everything in your path. Number two, getting to the end of our list now, but this one is iconic. Warp Whistles from Super Mario Bros. 3. This item was originally from The Legend of Zelda, but they decided to bring it into the Mario series, and when you play it, it summons a whirlwind that allows you to warp between worlds. Now, you access this by accessing a hidden area within the levels, allowing you to go behind the black curtain at the end, which allows you to access the secret area, and Toad gives you this whistle, and he famously says one two on this whistle will send you to a far away land and if you collect two of them you can warp to the eighth zone of this game within minutes allowing people to speed run this game with absolute ease number one on our list could it really be anything else it's the konami code this code is up up down down left right left right b a and it was originally created in 1986 during the testing of gradius on the nes and it was deemed too difficult to play through for testing so the code was created to give you all the power-ups in the game at once, so it allowed for the testers to get through the game and test everything that they needed to test. But developers actually forgot to remove the code, and after it was left in the game, it quickly spread amongst gamers, and this code has lived famously ever since. In fact, as an in-joke on the SNES version, if you put in the Konami code, it actually blows up and self-destructs your ship. But aside from that rib, it's provided some awesome moments in Contra, Castlevania, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Dance Dance Revolution, Metal Gear solid and it even lightens up the very eerie and terrifying Silent Hill because in the third installment if you put in the Konami code it actually causes one of the characters to be wearing only their underwear in the cutscenes and as you can imagine that really takes the edge off the horror. Since its initial accidental inclusion this code has become absolutely iconic with gamers and for that reason it really has to take the top spot as the most satisfying cheat code of all time. We hope you've enjoyed this video. If you want to follow me on Twitter you can follow me Joe Hendry at at Joe S. Hendry. Not only that, please like, share, and subscribe. We'd love to have you back on the channel. This has been What Culture Gaming. Thank you so much for watching, and I shall see you next time.